Greetings. Black Light here. Welcome to the God Zone. This video is just dedicated to Detroiters. I try to look up the percentage of black people that live in Detroit. I couldn't get it. At one time you could get it. It was in the, in the 80 percent percentage area. It was over 80 percent. It was almost 90 percent. But uh, now you got white people moving back. I'm going to tell you why they're moving back. Mostly because, because of California. California is, is being messed up. As far as water. You know, as far as uh, fires, earthquakes. And see, you know, Detroit is a port city, even though you might not think of it as a port city. But see, our people don't, they don't get into stuff like that. They don't get into land and what's up under you, you know, like what the minerals are. And being a port city, they don't get into stuff like that. Because of the school system. They're not trained, you know, to, especially here in Detroit, to think deep. A lot of you going to be mad at me. But Detroit was just populated by blacks because blacks work really good and hard for the auto industry. Now the auto industry is ship, shipping uh, cars all over the planet. And they going into a robots. They're dealing with robots now. So they shipped a lot of dope in Detroit. And see, every move, every trick that the Caucasian plays on black people, the black people fall for it. Because they don't want to take responsibility in their own hands. They don't know what to do with it. They pray night and day, God, give me freedom. And when it comes, you can't recognize it and don't know what to do with it. Like uh, Israel, Israel dwelling in the desert, trying to find a land of milk and honey, and then was praying to God to give him a sign that God gave him, made manna from the sky. And because it wasn't looking like they thought it should look, they rejected it. So God said, I'm going to let you wander in the desert until the next generation. Because y'all don't know what to do. And that's how it is now with you. You got corruption in the White House. Corruption on the police force. The leadership, the white leadership is falling to pieces because they're trying to get the whole planet. They got so greedy, they want to dominate the whole planet. And Allah, you know, or God or Jesus, whoever you say, y'all say, well, we're waiting on him to come out the sky and do something. No, Jesus didn't tell you that it was going to go down like that. You know, Jesus was telling you you had the power within you to change it. But you didn't understand it because the white man was telling you how to read it. And this leaves, that's the responsibility of all for you. I mean, when something bad happens to you, you say, God, I'm mad at you. you why you, why you let so-and-so get killed? Why you do this to me? Why you? Because y'all don't understand who you are, black man and black woman. So, now Detroit, you got a Caucasian mayor 
And you know, cause you know, I, I can I can admit that Kwame Kilpatrick was a disgrace. You know, he was greedy. And uh, you know, they they had they paying the price though for not looking uh, down the line. White man put him in there. Anyway, you can't get in there in 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 office unless the white man put you in there. And see, that's where Mayor Young tricked them at. They they thought Mayor Young was the ideal man to calm the blacks down after the 1967 riots, but he fooled them. <laughs> and then that calls for white flight because he, when the white man see that he was for down for the people. They left the city, went to California, went all over the place, Florida, you know. So, when Mayor Young was was uh, the mayor, the white man took his money out the city, put it in the suburbs. Now that he got rid of all black threat, you know, they let you have a the black mayors, they never, never did, never gonna let you have a black governor. They're not gonna never let you have a black president no more. You know. So don't think that's gonna happen again. <laughs> so time after time, y'all get suckered. So I'm telling y'all, you know, uh, your school system falling apart. You're blaming yourself, but. Think of this, y'all. It wasn't no ordinary, what they call slavery. Slavery that normally took place, you kept your name, you kept your culture. And it don't last for no 400 years. It only lasted until you paid your debt off, or, you know. But they took away our name, culture, and then plus they split the families up. They took away our power base from us. You know, our names, language, our God, culture. Took away our families for 400 years, y'all. That's going to have an effect on you. While they keeping you stagnating and behind, they gaining knowledge and power. But then it got too greedy. They gone out. They, you know, they done all over the place now. They, they, they having too many wars. They have a war every ten years. And God, the, the universe, what I call it, Allah, the universe. All He wants is some righteous, good, strong people to take control. Because if you think you going he gonna let you take control and you gonna act just like like the white man acting. Because that's every time he let you have a city you act like you act like he do. You know, that's a license to do what you wanna do. And mostly it's gonna be for yourself and your bad habits. So we, you know, it's a few, it's a few righteous people. So my channel is dedicated to, to y'all who want to be righteous. I think we ready to rule. But we just got to convince our people, you know, that it's, it's time for us to rule. We got to rule in righteousness. See, another word, look up the word justice. Another word for justice is righteousness. Because we always hollering, no justice, no peace. But what we're saying is no righteousness, no peace. But we don't think we're saying that because we don't understand the way the white man uses words. You know. That's why we always changing it around to suit how we think. Just like when we say, oh, that's cool, man. We don't mean it's cold outside, cool outside, you know. 
You mean that's mellow. You know, that's, that's, that's right. You know what I'm saying? So we got our own language. And then when he hears us talking our own language, when he hears us doing our own thing, he say, oh, that's him. Let me get, let me get with that. Because everything we do to him is him. Why? Because he know who we is, but he know we don't know who we are. So Detroit, you know, all, the, all, my, all my brothers and sisters who subscribe to my channel that, that, uh, live here in Detroit, you know, pull, pull all the brothers and sisters to my, to my, uh, channel, pull their coat. You know, because listen to me, you know, you're going to see that I'm talking real sense. Things ain't going to just by osmosis turn around for you. You know, you got to put in some some effort. If you want justice, which means righteousness, you got to do righteous things. You know, and righteous only mean, you know, uh, justice. And then when you look up that, look up the word justice, you'll see you talking about mayat, balance, mathematics, you know. So, uh, otherwise, you know, you're going to always be in a worse and worse position. And I ain't got time to go into specifics. But you got to wake up, Detroit. Because once we were the leaders... And so we can regain, we, we can regain our throne again if we just wake up. I know y'all don't want to listen to me. You know, I probably don't talk right. Or I might, I might say Allah. And y'all Christians be up there, what about Allah? You know, it's Jesus. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see, you know, few more days you're gonna see uh, am I am I more on point just keep on watching and keep on watching how these white folks act black light